Coach Loxley related to us on a different level, and that's why we play so hard for him. He expects nothing but the best to come in every day and give my all and to, to work to the expectations that he set for the program. I think it's helped me from an 18-year-old to a 22-year-old. You know, he's been a guy who just implemented a family-oriented football team and just, just keeping the connection together and really building us, building our bond. It just makes us play a lot harder. He's going to do whatever that he got to do to just really, you know, get me to where I want to be. He said if I came to Maryland, I would break the internet, uh, which I did. He said I'd be the face of the program, which I was. So, Kim, what's the next step? There's much more to do. He said he'd be able to help me get to the NFL in three years. He's still on all three of those, so, I mean, uh, that's my I'll forever thing. Maryland's the school that put me in the league. All the pieces to the puzzle were there for me to be successful. I just had to go out and do it and make things work. Maryland been my dream school since I was like little. I wanted to always play for where I was from. My family can cut in my game, they don't gotta fly out. They can just ride down, you feel me? Ride, take an hour ride in. And be right there and watch me play. A lot of guys go DMV to powerhouse school and then the NFL, but for me to do it at Maryland, to help change the program, it means a lot. He just understood me and really just put me in the best position to be myself and take care of my family. This is what the foundation words that we use every single day in our program are about. Nobody has to play above their heads. Nobody has to be extraordinary. We just got to be our best version of ourselves today. That's the first thing, the belief. And I can just look in everybody's eyes and know that y'all came here to do something special today. I feel it. You can feel the energy starting to build in this stadium. There's Hemby. It's a room. Hemby finding Shutting off a tackler and finding the end zone. Maryland has his first touchdown of 20. 22. inside the five-yard line of the first and goal, Maryland. And he is fired up, Johnny. Intercepted by Jacorian Bennett. Looking for anything to the end zone. And that is in the hands of Jones. We in the show. We hold it down in the show. Hold it down in the show. And that's the end of this game. So the Terrapins shutting out the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, 37 to nothing. They not better than W at home. Here we go, guys, real quick. First of all, man, I want to congratulate you guys on what you've been able to accomplish thus far, all right? We've gone back-to-back -back bowl games, all right? We're giving a game ball to that damn defense, the first shutout in Big Ten history. Great job, defense. But listen, none of this is accomplished, none of this is accomplished without those 18 guys that exhausted their eligibility today and laid it on the line and put a foundation in place. Today shows you what it can be around here if we just do the job the way we're coached to do it with the type of effort it takes, man. Then let's sing this song, man. One, two, one, two, three, four. Once the season's over, it starts with the combine training where they go just work on the specific drills that they'll be doing at the biggest job interview they'll ever have. I really want to run 4-2. That's what I want to run, 4-2. I'm trying to aim for 4-2-8, 4-2-5, around that area. 
And oh, of course I'm gonna jump a 40. I'm gonna jump a 40 regardless. We in Fort Lauderdale right now, you know what I mean? In my little spot, vibing right now. I came down here for 10 days and I worked out, I think about eight days out of that 10 days I was here. A lot of us were trained together, so I seen those guys, you know, a lot longer than I really wanted to. Man, it was good, you know, just having Cope, Rock, Tay, just everybody just really pushing each other, just, you know, really help each other keep the main thing the main thing. A barometer of what type of program you have is based on how guys are, are being developed to play at the next level, and to have seven guys have an opportunity to take the biggest job interview you can have speaks volumes. You have seven guys from one school being able to be here. That's probably the most in a long time from Maryland. Us being able to go to the combine and perform was a big thing that stood out from a lot of other schools. Growing up, people like, like used to try to say like Maryland this, Maryland that, but there's good players that's coming here. And we're producing good players, so Maryland program is on the way up. We produce a lot of talent in this area. We get the chance and the opportunity to play here, you know, under a great head coach who's from our area. It's really, really a good thing being able to play in my backyard and just be able to show that I get it where I'm from. You usually you'll watch TV like you'll just turn TV on and see like people running the 40, people doing this, doing that. But now like you're doing it, so it's like this is real, like this is reality now. Five minutes before I got up to run, I looked around and I'm like, is this a real dream? It was nice, you know, to have a bunch of your brothers there with you. So when it's time for you to go out there and showcase and work, you know, out there feeling like you're by yourself. A lot of people don't even make it to be here, so, like, I'm going to take advantage of my opportunity. When people talk about the Maryland football players over the years, the word freak comes out. Indianapolis, Indiana, Lucas Oil Stadium, home of the Colts. Deontay Banks jumped out of the gym. They should be fast. There he goes. <laughs> Start. He's finished. Yeah, that's fast. Bennett the first time and now a 3 2. Who just really like another day? It means more when you stay home and you do it for the fans that's, that's rooting for you. We saw the Maryland corners fly. I think that's going to continue. If we compete three years in a row, doing yeah. it. So, like, this really just another day for it. I can really have my dream come to the next month. The NFL <laughs> draft starts now. Yes, sir. Do your thing, man. Yes, sir. 
I'm just extremely excited to see uh, Banks realize his dreams. Uh, the kid worked extremely hard, and to be able to realize his dream tonight is just an awesome feeling. It just means the world to me. So I'm excited for him, I'm excited for his family, and I'm excited for the future of Maryland football. Nah, I mean, it's crazy. It's like, he really manifested this. Baltimore guy have an opportunity drafted in the first round, he'll do great there. Just because of the type of work ethic, the type of kid he is. All the work you put in, his dedication. The, mm, damn, man. I'm just so fucking beyond proud of you, Jordan. I love you, Jordan. Yeah, I salute you. Aya! I'm going to describe a player to you. You tell me where he's at right now, okay? Three-star prospect out of high school, 131st best receiver, 865th nationally, and he destroys his knee. Where is that guy at right now? Sitting right in front of you. <laughs> when I first started, I was just coming in and getting my feet wet, wanted to be outside, wanted to have fun. But as time grew along with it, you know, you know it shows the, the work you put into it and can really change the outlook on your whole perspective of life and really how you can change and really change people's lives just playing the sport that you love. Coming in, I didn't really want to think too much about accolades and stuff like that. I just wanted to be able to help my team best where it fits. And over the year, I just been having a lot of fun, man. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. This area brings a lot of grit and a lot of you know happiness to this game, just to being able to play it and really have fun and then Really just go out there and just do what you love. So just being able to play in my backyard would mean a lot to me. You know, I did it here since I was since I was a little kid, bro. You know, I played on the smallest level here. I, I could play on the highest level here. Seeing a guy like Dante Demas put the necessary work in and not being drafted, that's always tough. With the 64th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. 103rd pick of the 2023 NFL Draft. The 128th pick. With the 135th pick. And the final pick in the draft, Deswan Johnson, a defensive tackle from Toledo. Holy Toledo! Nice. I'm doing it so you can do it too. I'm not the best player in the world. I go out there, put it on my chest, but just try to be the best role model I can be. A lot of Ravens fans super excited that the Ravens has signed Dante Demas Jr. The piece I know about Dante Demas is you'll fight, but he has an opportunity and you'll continue to develop, shine, and, and have impacts where he was given opportunities. Good, man, man. The passion grew so much from Maryland just to be, it really gave me a chance to play at the next level. Uh, give it all to Maryland, man. The best is yet to come. This is essentially a form of free agency that has come to college football. NBA free agency times 50. Oh, it's crazy. Tonga by Lois headed to the Big Ten, transferring to Maryland. There's been nothing more essential in Maryland's turnaround recently than adding Tonga by Lois. I like those guys that want to prove that they can play at this level. I feel like I've been here all my life. 